just a very quick demo to show what we might call the official Apple way of creating an MP3. First make your recording in QuickTime Player 7. Hi, this is a little test to show the making of an MP3. With this method we don't need to export as an audio file because iTunes can read the movie as it is. So we can quit the QuickTime Player. We see the audio file on the desktop. We can drag it to iTunes icon. It opens in iTunes. Hi, this is a little test to show the making of an MP3. We put it on pause so we don't lose it because if it plays to the end, then iTunes will carry on playing in the playlist or the list of files. We now go to iTunes preferences. And here in the general panel down where it says when you insert a CD. It doesn't really matter what you have chosen there, that that's, it depends on your personal choice. But it's the import settings that we need to look at. And it's perhaps already set to the AAC encoder, which means that anything that you choose to process, like a CD or your own recordings, will be exported as an AAC. That's great for DVDs and for playing on a Mac, but doesn't work necessarily for other platforms like Windows. What we want is to choose the MP3 encoder. Then it's the question of quality. 1 to 8 kilobytes a second is fine for normal ears. If you want higher fidelity with bigger file size, then you choose something else. And OK. And OK. And now with our recording pause so we can see it, we select it. And then in the advanced menu, create MP3 version. If you haven't selected MP3 in the preferences, this will offer you whatever is chosen, like the AAC or I. It works very quickly, about five times the speed that it plays. And now the only question is to find it. There's two ways of doing that. You can see here in the list, it's the second version with the same name. You can control click and say show in finder. That'll open the folder that contains it. And we can see then that it's in iTunes Music, Unknown Artist, Unknown Album. I can even play it in Finder to demonstrate that it's the right one. Hi, this is a little test to show the making of an MP3. The other way to find it is because we know exactly where it is, you can open a new Finder window, go to your home, it's under Music, iTunes, iTunes Music, and then you maybe have to look there, but it's Unknown Artist, Unknown Album, and there it is. And then you can move it and keep it anywhere you want if you have your music or sound collection stored in some different way. 